With Roblox becoming more popular every single day, the number of published games on the platforms increases drastically. Some of these games blow up due to their ability to provide quality and replay value, but others are not of great quality, lowering the standard for all of the games on the platform. Did you know a really cool thing happens to the subscribe button on YouTube when I say subscribe? Go check it out! Copycat games are games that emulate the mechanics, themes, or visual styles of existing popular games on the platform. The most common type of these games are the clicker slash tycoon game. These games often capitalize on the success of others, attempting to attract players by offering similar experiences. While some copycat games may introduce interventive twists or improvements, many simply replicate existing concepts without adding any significant value or originality. This large number of saturation from copycat games is one of the reasons why many game devs are unwilling to create new style of games. Let me put this into another perspective for you. If one style of game was working and you were able to put little to no work into the game and get loads of money off it, why would you want or feel the need to create a new style of game that may or may not be played? You see this firsthand at the current state of Roblox games, many of them being clicker, AFK, or tycoon style games. Now, do not get me wrong, Roblox was founded on the tycoon style game. Monetization incentives have contributed to the drop in quality amongst Roblox games. As developers seek to maximize profits, there is a temptation to prioritize monetization strategies over gameplay experience and innovation. A perfect example of this is the Roblox game company Big Games. Coming from a former Big Games staff member, I can safely say Preston loves to make money over what the players want in his games. This can lead to an overemphasis on in-game purchases such as virtual items or currency, sometimes at the expense of balanced gameplay or meaningful progression. Additionally, certain monetization tactics such as pay-to-win mechanics can distract from the overall enjoyment of a game. As developers focus more on revenue generation, there may be less investment in refining game mechanics, enhancing graphics, or addressing bugs and glitches. Players may encounter a higher number of low quality or hastily made games that prioritize monetization over player satisfaction and engagement. But greed should never outweigh the player base or the viewer base when it comes to videos or games. While there has been an increase in low quality Roblox games, I do want to point out a few Roblox games that I feel have completely gone against the trend of Russian games out. Frontlines by Maximilian is a Roblox FPS game based on the Call of Duty games. Roblox Frontline by far has one of the best graphics I have ever seen in a Roblox game. And even the Call of Duty developers have commented on the quality of the graphics. Theme Park Tycoon 2 is a simulation game that lets players design and manage their theme parks. With intensive building tools, detailed customization options, and strategic gameplay mechanics, it offers a rewarding experience for fans of management games. If you'd like to learn why the Roblox streaming community has gone downhill, feel free to check out my last two videos, The Problem with Creecraft and The Dark Side of Roblox Streaming. And I hope to see you around the Clicks channel sometime soon.